this is the last day for us being in New Orleans, and we are going to head out shortly and probably go to, I think, I don't know if it's the Galleria or the West End or whatever the mall is down here. I'm going to try to go look in a couple of stores, take y'all with me, but before I go, I'm going to do my makeup really quick and show you a few things that I bought recently and my gratis. <laughs> So, I told y'all, every, like, three months I get gratis, right? So, like, I get to get, like, three or four, like, close to $400 worth of stuff off of the gratis website for Estee Lauder and Clinique, since those are the two businesses that I work for. So, the items I got with this gratis were a Clinique facial soap and mouth. Like, I ran out of stuff to buy, and, you know, you have to hit the specific price points. So... I got this. It was like 13 bucks. So this is the facial soap and mild that I use to clean my face. I like the liquid. I really truly like the Sonic Foaming Cleansing Wash. But I'll substitute for that like when I'm traveling so I don't lose my um, Sonic Soap. I got an Estee Lauder Powder Foundation Brush. I probably won't use it for a powder foundation. They do. I don't know. But it looks like this. Really nice quality brushes. And it just says... Powder Foundation Brush 3. Doesn't really say anything, any specs on it. But I mean, the, the, the hairs are really, really soft. And this is what it looks like. Really, really nice brush. Uh, my plan is to possibly have all of the brushes that Estee Lauder has times two by the time I get to working for the company. I just do that much makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. So the next thing I got was a double wear stay in place lip pencil. Where am I wear this today? I got it in 08 Spice. And it looks like this. That's the Spice. And then the other one that I got, and I got two lip pencils, was in the color. Did I just, excuse me. Oh well. It's in the color do, 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 rose. Now, out of the two, I think I like the spice a lot more. They're almost close. This is spice, and this is rose right here. So, I wanted these lip pencils. These are really, really good if you like that mattified look, lip without, you know, having a moisture and stuff. They're really, their lipsticks are really good, too. I love Estee Lauder lipsticks. My favorite is Desirable. <laughs> kind of funny because my first name is Desiree. Anyway, so the lip pencils, like you can feel in your lip. You don't have to just use it as a liner, but you can feel it in your lip. And I'm probably going to use one today to do my makeup so you'll see what it really looks like. And quality is awesome. The next thing I got was a blending shadow brush. I kind of need this now. And it looks like this. Say Estee Lauder, really good quality. So you can kind of see that it's really, really, really worth it. Uh oh, I don't know what I. Oh well, can't put that back up. So yeah, I might wear. I'm gonna wear Spice today. The lip liner, Spice is really nice. Spice is really nice. All right, so the next thing I got is an eyeliner brow brush. I already have one with the spoolie on the other end. But you can't go wrong and never have, you know, enough brow brushes. So it's just an angle tipped brush. Even if I wanted to do a wing liner, I'll probably end up buying two more of these. Just one for brow and one for liner, gel liner. Because my gel liner brushes get gunky and after washing them so many times, you just want to throw them away because they're just fucking hard. They're just horrible. I'm going to leave that on there because I did use the F-bomb. Oh, my gosh. My mouth is bad. Lord have mercy. Please forgive me. I also told, I don't know if I said before, I use Clear Difference um, Anti, excuse me, Advanced Blemish Serum. It looks like this is blue. But when I say I went to summer camp, right, I don't know if you guys can see, but I had, like, this is the remainder. And I've only been home a couple of days, but my forehead was literally covered like this. And it's getting rid of the um, blemishes. And then another product that's really good by Estee Lauder. This is what it looks like. It's enlightened if you have those marks and stuff from 
the product, you know, like, well, not product, from when you break out and you know how sometimes we do pick or it doesn't heal, you get those marks and stuff. I believe that um, Enlighten is really good for nighttime to clear up the dark spots, and this is really good. And I use Daywear, which has an SPF in it as my moisturizer during the day. Okay, so the next thing that I got, and this was just a bonus with my gratis because it's new, is this Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment. And it looks like this. Clinique Smart is a very, very expensive product. And, like, I'm still young, so I'm still, like, trying to venture out with stuff. Like, for example, Estee Lauder gave me their new Shape and Feel Expert Serum, which helps to lift the skin and repair it and give you volume and dimension. Now, I naturally have a little, you know, dimension and volume. I'm still young, so I have no use for that product. But it does work. I did use the tape, and then my eyebrow naturally started lifting a little bit when I was doing the tape. But that's something I would give to somebody else. Clinique Smart, I think it's pretty much for all skin types, anybody. But I'm not, you know, my my stuff, I need this right now, the anti-blemish. But I'm pretty sure I'll try this just because I know that I have a little darkness here, and it might help with that because it's an eye serum. I do wear eye serums from time to time but not really so the next thing I got from my gratis which this is all gratis is a pure color blush by Estee Lauder and the color is alluring rose and it's a satin finish I tend to get a lot of roses and mauves and stuff like that in nude but this is what it looks like and I'll probably apply this today with my foundation brush so let me just toss these boxes because I ain't gonna have any need for them after after this so yeah let me just do that okay moving right along something else I got with Clinique oh my gosh I cannot just begin to explain how good this product is I bought it because I really wanted it that bad but then I went ahead and returned it because I realized I got gratis again and didn't know how often I got gratis I didn't use it or anything, so it's resellable. But I got the Super Fine Liner for Brows by um, Clinique. And I'm going to get Estee Lauder's next time just to see which one I like better. But this is the 03 Deep Brown. When I'm in a rush and cannot do my powder brows, this is like my holy grail for Clinique. This for Clinique, the charcoal mask. Oh, my God, I can't, I cannot go without that. What else is a holy grail for me for Clinique? I think that's pretty much it. I have to see. Anyway, I'm going to probably do a Holy Grail product video. I'm not going to do, like, Summer Fave, July Fave, like, Holy Grail. These are products I've been using for years before I even worked with the company and some things that I've kind of added and implemented into the whole collection while since I've been working for the company. And I've been with them since January of this year. I've been working with them. Okay, so this is the brow pencil. Like I say, this is super, 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 super awesome and the last thing that I got was a Clinique pop and it's a new lip color and it's called nude pop or pop nude pop and it looks like this we had like choices when picking the new ones oh my gosh it got messed up anyway I'm still wear it though so that's it and then I'm gonna just swatch it on the back of my hand oh I must have tilted over and got hot oh well it'll still get worn And that's what the lipstick looks like. Kind of looks really good with those lip liners. So who knows what I'll wear today. But that's what's my gratis. So I, I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. Oh my gosh. There's so much. Okay, let me get my Ulta bags together. and then I'm Okay, so I just dumped all my stuff from Ulta into my box. I did forget a product. For, is my ear still wet? I just got a shower. So I did forget a product that I had bought. Um, and it is the Zero Five Whooping Willow, uh, the Chubby Stick Shadow Tint for Eyes by Clinique. These are really convenient if you're in a rush. You do not have time to get a brush and a eyeshadow and make it work. Like literally, this is just like, uh -oh. this is like a eyeshadow crayon and I'll show you I love this color on my eyes if you have brown eyes or green eyes whooping willow is really good because it's like an olive green but y'all know I like a lot of olive it's very pig pigmented so you just see me just slide it like one two maybe three times 
and look how pigmented it is. And of course you can smudge it or blend it out. It's all up to you. So let you put this in there. But this is my chubby stick for eyes. This, Whooping Willow, and Bountiful Beige are my two favorite I um should be stick eye for eyes so I've been wearing that in store for a while I usually play with products before I buy them now because you just never know how you feel two or three days after wearing something so I did go to Ulta and buy some things from Ulta they did have their buy one get one half off with NYX and stuff like they normally do and then they had like other stuff going on so with my NYX products I did get the liquid black liner, which looks like this, and the tip end of it, it's like real slim and slender, so you can get that, you know, exact liquid black, thin liquid black liner for your eyes. Throw away this box, we're not keeping any of it. The second thing that I got was a glitter eyeliner in green by NYX that's what that looks like and if anybody wears these things you know they're pretty much extremely colored pigmented extremely glittery and the whole nine but if you want to see what it looks like and open it real quick and show you what it looks like so it looks like this when I say it has a lot of glitter it has a lot of glitter in it so that's the green glitter liner. Also from NYX, I got two eye pencils. One is the Infinite Shadow Stick in Chocolate, and the other one is the Infinite Shadow Stick, Infinite Shadow Stick in Sweet Pink. And let's see. I probably should have opened all of this stuff, but I wanted it to be like extremely new for everybody. I know people probably think I'm crazy because I'm in here talking to myself. But this is the brown. This is really good. Like, I'm probably going to use this for bottom lash. And I'm going to put it, like, one little stripe right there. So you see how well it picks up. So that's the brown. And then this is the sweet pink. I'm going to put that right underneath the brown. So you can see how pretty those two are together. The next thing that I got were block strips. I my package broke, and so all my block strips went all over my purse. So I got the block strips in matte, and the other one in the tea tree. The next things that I got were some OPI polishes. They weren't on sale or anything, but I like OPI. And the first color I got was a Great op Opera Tunity. So that's the bottom. And it's just like a nude peach. So I'm going to probably get this on my nails and toes today when I go get them done. The next color I got was Gelato on my mind. And it's like a robin egg blue. I mean, that used to be my color when I was in kindergarten and stuff. Used to love that. That's my favorite crayon color. Excuse me. Robin's egg blue. And then in the cold. My OPI polishes were buy one, get one 50% off, so I couldn't pass that up. The first color I got was Enchantress, and it looks like this. Real pretty light pink, and the other one was Nicole by OPI Marooned in Paradise. So that's like a deep red. I might get the deep red. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. I'll take both and make a decision. So those were the next two polishes, and I did happen to get... These real techniques, oh my gosh, they're called the Miracle Complexion Sponges, but they're just like the beauty blenders, and you can definitely never, ever not have this. So it explains to you on the back, like there's three in one. You got a flat edge, which contours around the eyes and nose. The sides blend large areas of the face, and the tip covers imperfections. So good job with this one. So real techniques, two thumbs up. So that pretty much is all the stuff that I had to haul. I'll probably end up having some more stuff by the time I get back home. But we're still in New Orleans, and we're going to head out for the day. And I will see you guys later.